In this video, we're going to look at using markers in your Pro Tools session. Pro Tools provides up to 999 different marker locations for each session. These can be customized and used to recall a variety of settings, but for the moment we're just going to look at the marker functionality. First you want to make sure that you can see your marker ruler. You can do this by going to the View menu, choosing Rulers, and then Markers. There are several ways to create a new marker. One is to click the Add Marker button at the far left of the marker ruler. Then the new memory location dialog will appear. Here you can type in a name for the marker and also specify the marker number. For our purposes, we'll leave the time property set at marker. We'll talk about some of these other time properties in a future video. Then from the reference pop-up menu, you want to choose either bar and beat for a music session or absolute position for a post-production session. There are several other general properties you can change here, but for now we'll leave them with the defaults. Then you can go ahead and click OK to create your marker. And you can see the marker will appear in the markers ruler. A faster way to create markers is to use the Enter key on the numeric keypad of your computer keyboard. I'll go ahead and quickly make a couple more markers in the session. To view all of the markers in your session, go to the Window menu and choose Memory Locations. This will bring up the Memory Locations window. You can recall Memory Locations by either clicking on the Memory Location in the Memory Locations window, typing period, then the Memory Location number, and then period again on the numeric keypad, or by clicking on the marker itself in the Marker Ruler. You can delete Memory Locations either by using the Memory Locations pop-up menu and choosing Delete, or by holding down Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows and clicking on the memory location that you'd like to delete. You can also quickly make a selection between memory locations by clicking on the first location and then holding the Shift key while clicking on another memory location. 